Good morning everyone, so if you are not new to this channel, you may know that this is not a new place. I came here and I made a YouTube video last year in this exact location and I have also photos of this location even before making YouTube videos. And I think actually nothing wrong with that because sometimes you go more than 10 or 15 times to the same place and all of these trials you have only one good photo which you like and which you are proud of. So I still don't have actually I still don't have that photo that I feel I am proud of of this location but I like it I like this location and I I always feel in every time in every season of the year there's a dog I in every season of the year I feel that this place is I can make also I still I still can make a better photo in this location maybe I will come here again even in autumn this year because I really like the heavy trees here and I like the river in between so let me put my camera on the tripod and start searching for a good composition So the reason that I'm here today uh, at the morning and not during sun, uh, sunrise or during sunset is that I am planning today for, I'm not sure for the first time or something like that, I'm trying to have the sun in the composition. As you know me, I always avoid to have the sun. I like cloudy days, I like moody cloudy days, or for example foggy days where there's no sun, or even sun shining behind the fog, I always like that. But I always avoid to take photos when the sun is clearly on the sky and I avoid to, you know, to take photos when the sun is in the composition. So I want to try today to take the photo like that. I will show you the scene in front of me. So what I want to try today is to take the photo something like that with my ultra wide angle lens. I will try between 10 and 20 millimeter lens, but I want to have the sun here in the composition. So the thing that I have to take care of today is my histogram because I have a very harsh highlights very harsh light and at the same time I have uh, I have a lot of shade areas so I have to take care because my camera mate told me that this is this exposure is good uh, but after taking the photo and after looking to the histogram I can see that I have a very harsh highlights in the photo which I can edit in Photoshop because it's so harsh and it's overexposed area so as you can see, the composition is something like that. I don't have a foreground. The foreground is only this river. I don't have any leaves or rocks or something like that. I have only the river and these trees. And as you can see, I am taking the camera a little bit up to the... like that because I like the sunlight here and I like the leaf. But if I want to take it down like that, I don't feel that the river is so interesting because I don't have rock formations or any or any foreground. That's why I'm preferring today to go up a little bit to have the trees and the leaves. As you can see, I was trying more than one possibility. This is with CBL filter underexposed to make sure I don't have overexposed areas here. And this is with CBL filter normal exposure. Uh, as you can see now I have a lot of overexposed areas here and I can repair it with Lightroom or Photoshop because it's so overexposed and if I want to check my histogram as you can see right here I have a very overexposed area in the highlights. This is also without CBL filter, underexposed, overexposed, normal exposed. I find it always better to do like that, to have more than one photo. A lot of possibilities, overexposed, underexposed, different f-stop numbers also with CBA filter, without CBA filter, to try a lot of possibilities, everything you can, better than taking only one or two photos and after going back home, on the side of the screen of the laptop you discover there's something wrong. So I think, I think I will try to go back a little bit. 
I'm not sure about that. I will try to go back and I will try to use this branch and this branch as I will try to go back and I will try to use them to frame the composition. I'm not sure it will work. I will try it. I have a good news and I have a bad news. The good one is that I think I will like this photo more. I like how the branch is. I can say it's covering the sky and it's making more balance than the last photo because the last photo on the um, left corner or on the left side it was not so balanced because the sky is visible and on the right side is not visible. But now I feel that it's more a little bit more balanced. I hope I am right. And the bad news is that the water here is a little bit higher and my legs are totally wet right now and my wife may not be happy about that so I will record the video right here and I will show you the composition so as you can see right here this is the branch which I was talking about and as you can see now it's covering the sky and not like the last photo and I feel now that there's more balance between the left side and the right side because the, uh, the sky is covered right now with the leaves but in the last photo the sky was more visible and yeah I will try to take the photo now I have the Sun here exactly here and I like how I may have some flare in this direction on this corner of the photo and I hope I will like it so I'll try to take off my CBL filter so fast before another cloud come and hide the Sun because I don't want any difference between the two photos which are without CBL filter and with CBL filter I want the both photos to be under the sunlight not a one under the sunlight and another one cloudy obviously i want exactly the same uh, not the same composition the same condition and in terms of the setting all the photos i was taking at f9 and the shutter speed, as I said, shutter speed, I have different shutter speeds because I have underexposed and normal exposed photos. The focal length is 10 millimeter. This is the Sigma 10 20 millimeter lens. And I didn't make any focus stack or something like that. As I just said, I was focusing only on the far away tree because I don't have any so close foreground to make any focus stack. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed like always. I hope you liked the both photos. For me, I think from now or from the back screen of the camera, I think I will like the second one more. I will see them on the screen of my laptop and I will decide and maybe I will write to you which one I will like more. So thank you very much again for watching this video. Please consider subscribing if you are not already and see you in the next video. Bye.